Hi, this is Wendy with the Chugach National Forest Avalanche Center. It's April 25th. It's a Monday. We're up here at Turnigan Pass. We're looking at a very large avalanche that occurred on Seattle Ridge on the repeat offender slide path, which is just behind me. And this is also the common motorized up track that gets you to the top of Seattle Ridge. This avalanche occurred last night. Actually, the biggest portion of it occurred around 5 p.m. And then another portion to the right of it, it all looks like one now, but there's another section to the right that covered more of the up track that occurred around 7.30 p.m. yesterday. So it's a very, as you can see, a very large and dangerous avalanche. There were many people around the area yesterday. It was a Sunday. And there are actually four people descending the ridge when this avalanche occurred and it caught up behind them, they didn't hear it with their snow machines. Two of them saw it in time to outrun the debris and two did not. One person was able to get far enough to the side that just their machine was partially buried and not the per individual. And then another individual got pushed up against their machine as the debris was slowing down on the side and actually was partially buried with only an arm and part of the helmet exposed and that person was able to clear snow away from the front of their face and call for help and ended up being okay and we're really thankful that everybody was okay this is clearly a very large and destructive avalanche in a high use area as we're coming on into spring we're late april now we're gonna expect to see more avalanches like this they don't always occur this big but all bets are off in the springtime, anything can happen. And so as we move forward for the next few weeks, we can expect similar types of avalanches to occur where the snowpack is still sitting on the hillside. The Avalanche Center's last forecast is coming up on April 30th, just in a few days, but that doesn't mean avalanche season is over. So please check out the springtime tips that we're gonna post when we're done forecasting and stay safe this spring.